The debate is raging on once again. Are Indians considered Asian or not? Let's find out. Andrew, it is very rare that a comedy sketch sparks an international discussion, but that's what happened when Ronnie Chang made a joke on The Daily Show about Indians not being Asian. Now, and since then, there are so many other videos and so many clips and so much debating and so many comments that happened since then. Guys, we're going to go through them. We're going to talk about it. Maybe we'll try to come up with an answer at the end. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes of Hot Pop Boys. Let's run the clips. Is the new prime minister of the week, Rishi Sunak. And I know everyone is really excited that this is the first Asian prime minister, but let's be clear, Indians are not Asian, okay? Okay, they're still people, oh. great people. They're just not Asian people, okay? No, 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 answer me this. If this guy is Asian, how come when he became prime minister, I felt absolutely nothing? <laughs> I mean, when I was down at Dim Sum Palace this morning, me and the fellas were like, oh shit, that's me up there. I feel seen. I love how Indians try to have it both ways, like being Indian and Asian. Pick a lane, okay? Yeah, I bet if I show up in a Bollywood film, I'm just gonna blend right in, right? Because we're all just one people just having a good time. <laughs> Yo, Ronnie went in on this, and I'll tell you this, Andrew, this sparked like 300, 400,000 comments, you know, internet comments globally. You know, I'm sure at Asian student unions at all of the colleges, there were heated debates. Uh, there was like, just like a lot more that came from this than you would expect. Yeah, I mean, it was a really funny bit, but obviously the reason why people are, are talking about it, and that's why you have so many comments from India, is because, you know, The Daily Show is such a global and international show. Ronnie and Trevor are both international people. So when they say it, it even means more than just like Americans debating it. And since this clip came out over the past four weeks, bro, there are so many other internet channels that have responded or made uh, uh, videos asking Indians in India yeah. If they're Asian. And I think it's actually more of a legitimate question in Asia because more of the AAPI sort of like, I don't want to say, you know, wokey groups no, the Asian in America. Americans, yeah. They were more like, oh my gosh, what Ronnie said is a threat to unity. And like, but then people in India were like, no, let's have this debate. I think it is worthy. Like, that. it's always been no, I, I, Guys, when we're talking about identity and we're talking yeah. about how people feel, I mean, Guys, this is the season to do it. Everybody's talking about it, so, let, so let's have the conversation. And I think it's, like you said, Andrew, it's interesting because people in India can speak English as one of their main languages. So it allows the internet comments to be representative of a way they, they, they feel in Asia that like no other Asian country could do. Let's see some responses from India. Do you personally see yourself as Asian or Indian? I would prefer to be as an Indian. First of all, I do you personally see yourself as Asian or Indian? I would prefer to be as an Indian. First of all, I'll say I'm an Indian and, and, and Asian afterwards. Specifically Indian, but Asians. Indian, and I feel proud to be called or known as Indian. I think I see myself as an Indian. If any foreigner would call you Asian, would you be offended? Not really, because I am an Asian. I am a part of this continent, so I won't be offended. I don't think people would think of us as Asian. They would think of us as Indian, but that's their ignorance, right? But it makes sense because they're in Asia, so why call yourself Asian while you're in India? Because you're already in that country. So I get it that that's why there's a rift between the Asian Americans who want to use a unifying term in order to feel together because we're a minority. Because well, we I would make... say select Asian Americans right. have that, I guess, more, uh, and it's not right or wrong, that political agenda. But I'm saying it makes sense because you're only 6% of the population. You want to feel like you have a stronger group, so you try to find the similarities. Okay, we all go to this, uh, similar schools. We have similar passions as far as academics, right? Okay, we eat rice, take off our shoes, and we enter the house. We all have old traditions. STEM subjects. Right, so then, so you unite on that. And I'm not saying that there's not actually similarities. I just think in India... And in Asia, like if you're in Japan, yeah, I could see Japanese people more even saying like, well, you know, I am Japanese, but I am Asian. Yeah, what you're referring to is more about the context that you're living in. Obviously, in a Western context, everybody's sort of different from the dominant group in America, which is represented by Anglo-Saxons. But like, I don't know, it's, it's just shows you uh, context is everything. All right, this is a clip of an Indian American comedian who is actually against using the term South Asian and just wants to use Indian. Ronnie, I'm with you, brother. I've been saying this for almost 10 years now. I am Indian. We are Indian. Why are we so afraid to use this term? Indian, Hindu, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, there are 1.3 billion of us. We don't need a cardinal direction. That's what's up. 
Chinese, Japanese, Korean, they're not calling themselves East Asian. We're the only ones who will put a cardinal direction on 1.3 billion people. Why do we need this kind of permission, okay? I mean, I could see why Rajiv Sadyal is a comedian, by the way. He does. He has a very funny way of just speaking, yeah. David, what do you think about what he said? He said Indians need to own up to being Indian and not need to say South Asian. But yeah. my, I guess my question is what about like Bengalis and Pakistanis should... They should just go by their country and the nation name too. I don't yeah, know. I think later in the video he says use Desi as okay. the unifying term. I mean, I agree that, you know, I think that being Indian is different enough from being, I guess, like a mongoloid Asian because of the separation of the Himalayas. I totally see where he's coming from. But my only thing is like, <clears throat> like it's hard to fully expect that just because Indians self-identify like as Indian, right, that everybody else in America is going to give them the nuance of identifying them as their, like their own continent. I guess, you know, his point was a little bit confusing because he's like saying a lot. Cause he's like, yeah, we are Indian and I don't like the term South Asian. And then we are Hindu, but if you're not Hindu, then just say you're Daisy. But here's the only thing is, it's like, it's hard to expect Americans because Americans sort of like the prison tribes, you know, black, Latino, white, Asian. Those are the only ways they see it. Yeah. They only want to see four. They want to group people together. Yeah, they would see four major prison groups because that's how I was grouped uh, in David, David, you know, listen, I only got enough space in my brain for four or five categories max, all yeah. right? You, if you try to make it 12, 13, 14, I'm not even going to address yeah, it. Yeah, because not everybody is like an educated comedian not in it. New York City where you've probably got like 200 different colors in your mind. Yeah, other right? people got to think about other things. Yeah, your average American is painting with the most basic crayon package you could possibly buy in elementary school. So I think that's the only aspect. He would need to address the mechanics of how you're going to get everybody in America to refer to you as Indian or, or, or Desi over being part of the larger Asian subgroup. Yeah, by the way, he was saying that a lot of East Asians don't use the term East Asian. I'm actually okay with using that term. I think that's a term that maybe people could use more if they want to, instead of just saying the specific country, because the East Asian cultures are very similar, right? They're more closer together. So I guess like South Asian also includes the Bengalis, Pakistani, uh, Sri Lankans, et cetera, et cetera, right? The so Daisy that, countries, Yeah, right? the Daisy countries, you know, the brown countries, the, the people. But then are, he said don't use brown either because he said Latinos have brown. Well, so, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments uh, down below what you coming from though because i think that uh daisy people came to america one of the, it's one of the most like recent groups to come in large numbers to america even more recent than east asians or southeast asians so they're more like thinking like should we use the predetermined terms or should we try to just forge ahead with our own all right moving on to the next clip andrew this is actually from another uh daisy comedian yo this application doesn't even have my ethnicity all right i'm just gonna put other indian it says Asian right there. So? So you're Asian. No, I'm not. What is this? Asia. And what is that? India. So you're Asian. Do you just keep a map of Asia with you? That's not the point. I'm just saying, when people say Asian, they think of you guys. What do you mean, you guys? You know. What <laughs> the fuck? I'm just saying, the East Asians kind of hijacked the word. Oh, we hijacked the word. That's ironic. What the fuck? I think you're wrong here, man. Okay, watch this. Hey, Phil. What's up, man? Okay, so I was walking down the street and I saw this Asian guy today. All right? Okay, what are you imagining? All right, I gently look at my f up. Thank you. Exactly, <laughs> see? All right, I'll see you later, man. Oh, man, you know, I was really impressed by this comedy sketch and that's why it has like, you know, a half million views because it dressed a lot. It like got into, you know, larger stereotypes about people thinking that Indians are more like Middle Eastern, possibly, you know, more, I guess, terrorist jokes. It was talking about how Asians are always identified by their squinty or the slanted eyes or whatever like the that. The mongoloid eyes or possibly the monolids. And then, of course, they left it up to the black American guy who's just like, I don't know, man, you look like Jet Li. That's <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think uh, what the point is is that uh, a, a lot of it is context. I think in America, right, we want to focus on the similarities. We want to focus on our parents being strict. You take off your shoes. We all eat rice. We all want to get good grades. We're academic focused. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of cultural differences. Religion, look, I mean, phenotype. The Himalayas split us up. Like, whatever, right? And kind of Nepal is kind of like this blending part in between. Bhutan where, as well. Um, yeah. I saw this really interesting comment and this was from Indian, and he was like, you know, it's very complicated because North Indians are Indo-Aryan or mixed with Middle Eastern genes. The South Indians are Dravidian and then mixed 
uh, are the Northeast Indians who are Mongoloids are also mixed with those different bloodlines. Because India is a very diverse country with a wide variety of face structure and skin color, we resemble almost every single ethnicity that exists in Asia. So he was saying that India is in a very unique sort of position. And I will say this, I did hear an Indian comedian friend tell me one time, we got Indians that could pass as white, we got Indians that could pass as black. We have Indians that could pass as every single type of Asian in Asia as well. And then, of course, you've got an overall, I guess, what you're thinking of a classic Indian uh, Dravidian look, which could be anywhere from, like, darker to lighter. Right. So what if you're, like, a very East Asian-looking Indian person, which there are essentially East Asian bloodlines in India. So nationality-wise, you're Indian, you speak Hindi, but then you, like, look Chinese. Right, so it's complicated. So I guess, yeah, I guess, what would you say? Like, but, I guess anybody commenting, like, what would you put? But obviously, at the end of the joke, they were bonding over, you know, STEM subjects, strict academic yeah. standards from the parents, rice, probably, you know, taking off your shoes, things like that, um, and uh, lectures. All right, next up, Andrew, we don't have a video. We actually have a meme that went really viral on Reddit recently, Andrew. What is it trying to say? Okay, so Asians, according to Americans, are Korean, Thai, Cambodian, like Mongoloid, East Asian-looking people, right? Like, people who kind of... Look like a version of us, David. Oh, man. Why'd oh. they pick the thug for Cambodia, man? <laughs> ah, they put, they put Filipino under John Cho. So I, I think they're just throwing it around. I mean, I, I, all these people could be Chinese, to be honest. Uh. <laughs> and then on the British side, you have mostly Desi-looking people. Now you have like uh, more, um, I guess, lighter skin uh, Almost Middle more Eastern of a Middle person? Eastern Daisy right. mixed look. And then they do have one, I guess, Oriental guy. I heard, Andrew, that the older people in England, maybe like above 60, they would refer to them as Orientals. Yes, bro. I was working in L.A. once, and there was an older British lady. Uh, she called you that Oriental, came in the right? store. Yeah, she was. And then uh, she told my coworker that she was looking for me. She goes, oh, yes, I was uh, talking and speaking to that uh, Oriental man. And then <laughs> my coworker comes back and is like, uh, hey, uh, that lady just called you Oriental? Like, <laughs> is that racist? That's pretty racist, right? And then I thought about it. I was like, I think she's old school. You know what the interesting thing is, Andrew? Uh, Oriental, I believe, was also used in America. And that was a more specific term because you would like probably only say that uh, East Asian people or that look Southeast yeah. Asian are Oriental. Even though I heard even like in the 1400s, the Middle East was the Orient. Yo, you like get a Persian you, rug. A lot of these terms even changed. You know, whatever Asia was or whoever invented that term, Asia from the Greek or the Latins, like that wasn't always referring yeah. to East Asia. Yeah, to you know with. why it was? But it was like, because Iran was there, right? And Iran was still the end of the Silk Road. So they still were getting silk and all this fine China. So that's like, I, I could see why the, the Western, Western people got confused. Yeah, just it's, like, it's almost like, Asia for a while was more Western, and then we're like Asia, Asia. That's where we're from. Yeah, that's a, the Orient, Orient. What What is he to you? <laughs> well, he's, a, he's a man. No, ethnicity. What's my ethnicity? Yeah. Oh, what's your ethnicity? Like, what would you call oh, people I'd, that look I'd like say him? say you're in, in the Asian market. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I, I, I just need to understand a thing. So, you're ordering a hooker, right? And your description is, I want an Asian girl. And then something that looks like him shows yeah, up with yeah. a beard. And 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 at no point are you like, what the f are you doing here? <laughs> like, how do you say the Asian that we're all thinking about? Um, I'll just say Asian and just roll the dice, bro. They <laughs> <laughs> love hey, Do you guys identify as Asian? No. That's well, what they called you in Texas? <laughs> no, they called me different things. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just became Indian. <laughs> this is pretty yeah, what, did you, what did you start as before? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, what did they call me in Texas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They called ice on me in Texas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this was a pretty funny clip from uh, Flagrant Podcast, Andrew with Andrew Schultz. Uh, basically, he's asking uh, KSI, who's British, what does he consider a kosh? Right. And he was like, you know, something in, in the Asian market, which is a really funny a British hilarious. way of something like something in that zone. Right, and then uh, Akash goes off to say, and Akash is Punjabi, by the way. He says, we don't identify as Asian. I actually found, and by the way, guys, don't crucify me, internet. I'm just saying what I noticed. I noticed that Northern Indians, specifically Punjabis, are less likely to call themselves Asian than someone who's like South Asian. Yeah. From, from like way down South. In you know what I got to say? I feel like that this is a conversation that 
South Asians or Indians need to have even more, I guess. That's why I guess the comedian Rajiv was like talking to the Indian market and his Indian fan base about it because I think it's an internal conversation because I think there's a disagreement. Some people say there's a line between North Indians who are more potentially Anglo or Aryan Indian, right? Mixed with everybody up there. And then there's a line that's drawn or an invisible line. And then the Southern Indians are more Dravidian, which is generally like darker skin, like Aziz Ansari. Yeah. I mean, uh, like I said, guys, we're not Indian experts about the Indio sphere. That's just what I know. But uh, that would be an interesting, like, internal debate. So, like, I think terms that I think are useful nowadays, and maybe these are too many terms. You let me know in the comments down below if you guys are like, ah, I don't want to be too exact or, yeah. yeah I, 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 and the, all this talk is already getting confusing, man. I'm going back to the four colors. <laughs> hey, Billy Bob, I can't believe you even watched this much of the video. Uh, but, like, terms like Desi. Daisy, Desi, and then Pan Asian, which is like all Asian. So maybe in America, you're like, I'm Pan Asian American. I, I, I relate to everybody. There's East Asian, which I'm okay with using. Southeast Asian, of course. Um, and then there's Anglo Aryan Indian, which is a new term that people started bringing up a little bit more. Dravidian Indian. You know what I noticed is like on subtle curry traits, they use curry as a bonding way to bond all South Asians. Yeah. But I and I totally understand why they wouldn't. They probably would not want people outside of the group identifying them that way oh it's almost like you know in the asia you could identify with using i guess like chopsticks and rice but you wouldn't want other people to identify you that way yeah well you know i think this brings up a conversation of like uh what are you willing to take from outsiders calling you that right because within the group you can say whatever you want you can go hard make fun of people because yeah, it's all in the family yeah you can oh yeah it's all within the family you can talk about hierarchy but then when people on the outside who are perceived to be on the outside or yeah, actually you are imagine on the outside. just walking by and hey, subtle curry traits. Yeah. People would be offended. Yeah. And then they're like, what are you talking about, man? Like, you can't say that. And then I'm like, I'm from India, man. I'm from, I'm from, from, from Eastern Northeast India. <laughs> what if I said that? Like I'm from, Nor I'm, I'm from the Assam region, you know, Calcutta, Chinatown, you know, I've been there. This is a clip of Asian boss asking Indian people to respond to the Ronnie Chang clip. I understand where he's coming from because if I see some person who doesn't look like me become, uh, get into a power uh, position of authority, I won't really relate with him. I relate with Rishi Sunak because he looks like me. If he d didn't look like me, I probably would not relate with him. So I don't really mind this. I think it's funny. He made a he made a joke and I think it's a good joke. He's a great comedian. He's playing to the American stereotype of Indians versus Asians. In America, you think of Asians as East Asians and you think of Indians and Pakistanis and Bangladeshis as Indians. Right? He's just playing to that stereotype. It's got no global context. I don't think any Indian should have ever worry about it. And I actually think it's a funny joke. He's, he's quite hilarious. Uh, so when you travel overseas, have you ever been called Asian by foreigners? Or do they call you entirely different? Something um, I haven't been called Asian. I've been called Indian, in fact. Yeah, I mean, I think that that guy summed it up pretty well. He in America, people sort of use Asian as a substitute for the word, I guess, mongoloid or oriental because those words are like, you know, the, 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 the even though they're very specific, the connotation has been negative mm -hmm. at points. So those are like outlawed words to use. But it is true that the term Asian is way more amorphous and way more vague because it's more wide encompassing. And that's what's causing the confusion. So that's the dynamic that Ronnie was joking off of. Yo, how weird would it be if like white people or black people started coming up to us and being like, hey, you guys are a uh, mongoloid, right? That would be funny because we use this term amongst ourselves, at least amongst people who are into this type of anthropology, biology talk, right? And like, you know, culture talk. But like, if you had an outsider just coming in like, yeah, you're East Asian mongoloids, yeah, that's, yeah, right? And then I'd be like, yeah, 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 I guess. Yeah, well, it's because the term mongoloid for a while, I guess like 100 years ago, was used to describe people with Down syndrome or like, I don't know, guys. To wrap this up, David, what is the answer to the question? Are Indians considered Asian or not? Okay, so we just watched a bunch of videos with their opinions, right, Andrew? But I actually did some scientific research, okay? Right. So here's the funny side. This random Korean guy just wanted to say, listen, if you can do basic calculations without a calculator, to me, you're an Asian. That's a funny way of saying it, right? Like okay. that that's bonding us all together. Like you said, Andrew, as long as you could just do the basic basic arithmetic. Something to bond fast. us. Yeah, okay. Um, 
But then I read this other thing that said it really has to do with the Himalayas. India is certainly part of Asia. However, there are different geographical and physical constraints that also led them to have a different, like, cultural development in mm -hmm. India, even though there was, you know, the passage of Buddhism through the Himalayas right. from Nepal over to, obviously, East Asia and Southeast Asia. Um, there's different, different political concerns. There's different countries that we think about. Uh, people in India are much more likely to think about the Middle East than people in East Asia or Southeast Asia are going to think about what's going on in Britain in the Middle East. So there's yes, but it's also different. That's the answer. Y yes, but... Indians are definitely Asian, but it is also different due to the Himalayas and just uh, more interaction with other groups. You know what my opinion is? And just speaking from an American standpoint, being around other Asians in America, it's like when you have a common goal and you want to align yourselves politically and get something done, you team up as Asian. We're all Asian. We are from Asia, and we do share similarities. We are fighting discrimination <laughs> at the Harvard admissions. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, my Asian brother, our kid, they study so hard, but they say they got too many Asian at Harvard. It's messed up. Hey, don't worry, man. The, the Hindus are being discriminated against two men. They don't want us playing the venue flute. They don't want us playing that. Um, and I think that when you want to get something done, you team up, but internally, you all know each other's different. And I don't think that... The two communities, if you want to call just the Asian community one community, right? And then the Indian community, I don't think, or South Asian community, I don't necessarily think they mix as much as they could. But I think at the end of the day, you know, just takes time. I think India has a lot of conversations to have amongst themselves too, because they have a lot of different shades of each other. So, yeah, I think it's a cool conversation. Like we said, I don't know the answer. The answer is yes, Indians are Asian. <clears throat> no, using what, the term Asian, dude, but there probably should be some more specific terms, Andrew. What terms could be better? Because Mongoloids out, you know, Daisy or Dravidian, that's going to be tough to get people to use it. Orientals out, even uh, though like, uh, nobody wants to use the word chinky, because that's let, like... How about this? Even, how about this? If you're Indian or brown, but you know how to use chopsticks and you drink boba, you're Asian. <laughs> um, If you're Nikki Haley and you're Punjabi... Not yeah, and then what about uh, countries like Cambodia and India? I mean, I'm sorry, Cambodia and Thailand, where they're they're they've got a oh. pretty decent amount of exposure to the Indo sphere, yeah. where they like you know they uh, have Hinduism and things like that. Yeah, I mean, I think people like Tim Grover, who is Punjabi, he might just consider himself Indian and not <laughs> Asian. You're saying or Nikki Haley and Tim Grover probably do not see themselves as Asian. Would they even more specifically consider themselves just Punjabi? Yeah, it's possible. I don't know. It's possible based on what I know. I'm not about. speaking for them. I'm just saying that these two people do not look like typical Asian Indians at all. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, guys, I think that this discussion can go on forever, and that's why it's a fun discussion to have. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all love. You know why the Ronnie clip went viral? Is because Ronnie gave an answer to this. While a lot of people don't want to give the answer. That's the joke, is that Ronnie had the answer. The truth is, it's complicated, but of course it's funny. Yeah, much love to everybody, guys. Like we said, we're just trying to review the clips and just do some basic research off Google. I don't know. You can identify as anything you want, man. Um, you know, at one point in history, the Japanese, they didn't really want to call themselves Asian. Yeah. They just considered they, themselves Japanese. Yeah, it's still to this day, I would say the older ones definitely do not want to uh, uh, mix with everybody else. We are not uh, Asian. I mean, it almost has to do with, like, the separation from the pack. I would say, like, Japan and Korea, obviously, they have a certain level of, like, success, you know, that you know, other Asian countries don't fully have, you know, I know Singapore is very rich as well, but they don't, maybe don't have like the sports teams and stuff like that. So it's like, it just has to do with like, how much are you with the group or how much are you feeling like you're elevating beyond it or, or how much are you treated different? The last thing that I would say that is my major takeaway is you really have to look at these like really interesting British colonies in Asia, whether we're talking about Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, you know what I mean? Like that's really where you saw Indians and Chinese mix. And maybe to some extent, the term Asian in America, whatever that means, it's just not that serious. Yeah, it's not, it's it's not that serious, maybe, because it's such a broad term. It encompasses everybody. So anyways, guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.